Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna to be talking about both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi streaming. Everyone loves to play back their music wirelessly, especially now that most people play back their music using their cell phone. For a while now, Bluetooth has been the primary technology for streaming your music wirelessly, uh, although it's not the only option. Connecting your speakers via Wi-Fi has been around for a while now, but it's really only been recently that that technology has been readily available to consumers. Each of these technologies has their own advantages and disadvantages, and it really comes down to what you find important. All right, let's talk about Bluetooth. Bluetooth was originally conceived to replace short link data cables. Uh, it wasn't until later that it was adapted to be able to stream audio, so we can use it in our speaker systems. Pretty much anything electronic that has the ability to communicate has built-in Bluetooth. And if it doesn't, it's really cheap and easy to add an external Bluetooth module. All right, let's do some pros and cons. A pro for Bluetooth is availability. Like I just said, it's in pretty much everything. Another pro is that it's relatively cheap. Um, it's pretty inexpensive to either make or buy a wireless speaker using Bluetooth. And if you wanna add wireless features to an existing system, uh, it's also really expensive to get an external module. All right, so for the cons. One con is sound quality. Bluetooth has come a long way in the past few years, uh, but it still needs to compress your audio in order for it to work correctly. Although Bluetooth 4.0 has made a big step in terms of audio quality. Now, are you actually gonna hear a difference in terms of audio quality? I, maybe. <laughs> um, some people do, some people don't. Some people just have a more critical ear. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Try it out, see. Another con is distance. Now, most Bluetooth companies will say that you can get up to 33 feet of range with their products. It's probably gonna be more like 15 feet in the real world. Uh, and although you don't need line of sight to be able to play back your music, having a wall in the way is going to greatly impede uh, the sound quality and increase the drop rate of your music. Dependability can also be a con. Anything wireless has some sort of dependability issues and you will experience some crackling or dropped audio. Um, it's just something that you have to deal with. It's not often, it's not all the time, but sometimes it feels like it's worse than other times. I don't know, uh, but it is something to consider. Okay, now with Wi-Fi, it's the same basic principle as Bluetooth, except instead of connecting straight from your phone or your source device straight to your speakers, you're using your Wi-Fi connection to route that signal through. Wi-Fi is almost as common as Bluetooth in connected devices, but it's not quite as common in speakers. All right, pros and cons. Now, a pro with Wi-Fi is distance. And this is kind of a big one. Uh, you are only limited in range of your speakers by your Wi-Fi connection. So if you have Wi-Fi throughout your entire house, you can roam your whole house uh, with your phone in your pocket and still be able to connect to your speakers to play music. Another pro is sound quality. Wi-Fi has a much larger bandwidth than Bluetooth does, so you're able to stream lossless audio. Uh, lossless means that the information that's sent from your phone or your source device is the exact same as what's received at the other end at your speakers. So it's the highest quality that you can transfer. Um, will you actually be able to tell the difference or will you even use lossless uh, audio when listening? Some people do, definitely, but if you're just going from your phone and streaming off of something like Pandora or Spotify, it's probably not as big of a deal. You might still be able to tell a difference. I don't know, uh, but it, it, that's something to consider. Another pro and one of my favorites is zones. And what zones allows is if you have multiple Wi-Fi receivers and through software, you could put a receiver with multiple systems within your house. So, oh, and they can all be controlled off of one device. That's the best part. Uh, so you can walk through your house and be listening to the same music throughout all your systems. You can control each system, uh, system's volume independently, and you can also have different music allocated to different systems within your house. Pretty cool. All right, let's talk cons. Wi-Fi is still relatively expensive. Prices have gone down a lot, but since Wi-Fi is not the same standard that Bluetooth is, 
it costs a little more. Another potential con is setup. Uh, some of the less expensive Wi-Fi receivers have really complicated and messy setups. Uh, although the kind of nicer, little more expensive ones use a system called WPS. It's just a little button on the side of the system that you press and it automatically connects to, to your Wi-Fi network. Super easy. Literally press a button and it's all good. So. Depending on which one you get, this could be a con or it could be a pro, I don't, I don't know. Sure. A company called iEast sent me their Wi-Fi modules to try out and they're on the nicer side. So they had that really easy push button on the side to get it connected to my network. They're really well made. They have an aluminum housing and they honestly sound really good. I have one set up on my main system in my living room and another set up in the kitchen. And it's really awesome to be able to walk through my house and listen to music basically wherever I go. It's pretty cool. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm not being paid by iEast. I just think it's a really good product and they're really nice people. So if you're interested in Wi-Fi audio streaming, check them out. I'll put a link down in the description. So what's best for you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, if you're just gonna have one kind of small system in one room and you're not worried about leaving that room while listening, Bluetooth is probably a good option. If you're gonna have multiple systems and sound quality is super important, uh, Wi-Fi might be a good option. The bottom line is both of these technologies offer wireless music playback and both offer advantages. It really depends on what kind of system you want to buy or build. And you really should be building because building's where the fun is. Good luck. See ya.